Damn, Simp, Simp King. Go about this for me. This. <laughs> Bro, I remember it, right? <laughs> I wanted to relate to Drake so bad. I was like 15 when this dropped. So it was this girl I barely liked her. But <laughs> it was like I was just acting like she hurt my feelings just so I could relate to this. <laughs> Bro, this is my shit. That's crazy. Yeah, this is my boy. Like, growing up, a lot of people used to post my music. If it wasn't Lil Wayne, I didn't care. But this, yeah, it's my boy, for real. He taught me how to dumb it down, but without dumbing it down, though. Because when I was young, people used to say, like, yeah, bro, you know, you got to just dumb it down a little bit. I used to get offended. Like, what are you talking about? Like, why the fuck would I dumb anything down? But Drake taught me how to rap over trap beats without talking about selling crack or killing people. I just, instead of rapping like metaphors and like similes, I just rap about like relatable stuff. That's way, people relate to that way harder. Yeah. He taught me that, for real. Yo, it's lucky. It's an honor to be on Montreality, for real. Appreciate this so much. <laughs> we got my boys. Damn. Oh, this is triple A's though. But this is where the Montreal screw job happened though. Yeah, that's crazy. I just thought about that right now. This is my guy. This is my guy. This is really my boy though. He really should still be undefeated at WrestleMania, but little mishaps they got knocked out on accident they had to play it off yeah this is my boy though i used to go crazy over these when i was young like for real Take it off. for real unboxing for real nah oh, nah <laughs> hell no nah. yeah this is my boy i was waiting for him yeah this is my boy Shawn michaels with the loose pants Shawn Michaels with the tight pants cool too, but Shawn Michaels with the loose pants was an error. It's my boy. Roxy Popper. <laughs> 10 out of 10 drip. This is a wild boy right here. Dang. Yeah, this is my boy, bro. Seventh grade. This was all I was about until y'all met me, like to the world met me. That's all I was about, Lil Wayne. What's your favorite album? Carter 2, or Dedication 2. Yeah, me and my pops used to listen to Dedication 2. My daddy used to, like, stop the song. Like, you know what that mean? Like, explaining metaphors and similes to me and shit. So, like, in English class and shit, when it was time to learn about metaphors and similes, I remember I used to know and shit. Like, <laughs> but that's crazy, though. RP Static Major. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> we was just talking about this. This was kind of embarrassing. This was like an embarrassing era. You feel me? Cause even though I'm a weirdo from the hood, so people would be like, I remember I tried to listen to it and shit. <laughs> what was that song called? Oh, Drop the World. I ain't gonna lie, look, 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 look. It's just like, okay, okay, look, I'm gonna be honest. I used to like this album, but it's just an album that you couldn't like in public. You know what I'm saying? But this made me a weirdo a little bit. This made me want to start wearing skinny jeans and shit. Like, this made me want to be an eyeball in my neighborhood. Damn. Damn. That's special. Bro, how y'all know this? Y'all on some narwhal shit right now, bro. Look, I met this nigga ASAP Rocky, right? Like 2015, 2016. And I met him three months three months after Yams died, like three, four months after Yams died when South by Southwest was still like a thing. And he was like, yeah, bro, Yams put me on your music, bro. I'm like, that shit crushed me though because I never got to meet ASAP Yams. We fight every night, reunite, and pop mo. 
You know what they really drink though. I'm gonna live my boy. I touch more bitches walls than boy band posters. L O L O L O L's. <laughs> I retweet, retweet, retweet. My accountant just told me not to smoke crack. That's a good accountant. I love A7M's. <laughs> awesome. Bro, what's up with y'all? I'm for 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 what's up with y'all, bro? Bro. Damn, Montreality. For real, that's impressive. You know how you get older? It's gonna get kind of dark. But you know how you get older and you be like, damn, like, my parents gonna not be here one day, right? This one thing that made me think about that, like, like my mom, Christmas, I was the only child, so even though I kind of grew up kind of tough, like, it was easy because I was the only child, so Christmas was always fun. Yeah, though, this is a funny movie, though. My boy uh, got his tongue stuck on a tree. And I used to really try that, like, this work, but <laughs> on dirty ass Chicago poles and shit. Okay, I never read this, but I remember, remember book fairs at school? This was always something I used to be like disgusted with at book fairs. Like, like, you know, like, this used to always like piss me off. Like, I never got into it though. What is she becoming on the third with that one? A fucking rat. Yeah, I don't like furry stuff. <laughs> these used to piss me off, bro. <laughs> bro, these used to piss me off so bad, bro. <laughs> Take this, please. <laughs> oh, shit. This stuff. It's all I used to watch. These are my, these, it's my brother and sister, literally. Do you remember the, the a scene in that that you can call The thumb hits. <laughs> <laughs> the thumb hits. I was really a baby watching this shit, bro. In my baby. All sports games used to have way better graphics on these. Like all sports and like, yeah, used to have way better graphics on these. Cause at my mom's house, I had a PlayStation. At my dad's house, I had an Xbox. Yeah. My dad know who I, how I was though. He never used to let me take it on my mom's crib. But yeah, this is the girl right here. I can't believe people really try to shame you for being an Xbox person nowadays. You know? Harry Potter. I'm a Harry Potter fraud. I never really. <laughs> it seemed like an interesting world, though. I was wondering, like, is the like, Neptune Tat inspired by that or not at all? It's like two reasons. It's like. I'm cracking knowledge out of my head, like knowledge just spilling out of my head. But I learned that after I got the tattoo though. The, <laughs> the first one, I just wanted a face tattoo. I was just feeling edgy, like I'm got, I got hella money. Huh? It didn't piss my parents off, you know what I'm saying? See how far I could take it. Cause this how I looked at first, it was small, just like this, literally. But it was literally small, just like this. I got it done in a bay. Then I was like, man, my hair cover it up. Let's spice this shit up. <laughs> I'm too young. Oh shit! This where all the Lil Wayne went in the world. In my neighborhood, I had all the Lil Wayne, all the unreleased Lil Wayne. You know, people are idiots. They don't let. I knew about mixtapes before a lot of people. People only knew about what was on the radio. Slightly. I used to have one of these, bruh, but a bigger version. I used to think this shit was so cool. This shit was before the iPhones, before the Blackberries. <laughs> I don't know what this is. What the fuck is this? My parents. <laughs> fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, this bitch. Fully motherfucker. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I'm so sorry. I had to hit a girl. Like, that's so bogus, bro. I'm sorry. 
Okay, let's go. Oh yeah. These used to get stole. Swear to God. My dad come outside mad as hell, his window broke. <laughs> they took the pioneer. <laughs> yeah, this some shit though. Yeah, these used to get a lot of crackheads hot, bruh. Swear to God, bruh. Damn, I ain't seen one of these in a minute. Kids don't know shit now, bruh. See, Lil Wayne my goat, but this my first favorite rapper. Like my first, 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 first favorite rapper. First album I listened to, second grade. Yeah, this is my boy. And he not a fraud, too. Stay yourself. I know some of us be from environments where you can't really be yourself. But in the long run, it's going to turn out. I swear to God, like, like when you look back and you see your pictures, like, you was yourself and everybody else was, like, being each other. Like, you're going to really appreciate that, kids. I swear to God. I swear to God. That's one thing about this shit. Stay yourself. Stay out of trouble. Trust me. Stay off drugs. Stay away from ridiculously pretty girls. Like, yeah.